Tell me how it felt in there. It's a, it's a bittersweet victory. It feels great, great to be back, but uh, I lost my best friend, my, my four-legged friend. Uh, they had to put him asleep uh, Wednesday. So it was a bit of it was a little bit of sweet. I went in with a heavy heart, but I wanted to fight for him, and uh, I'm just glad to be back in there and uh, you know put a make a statement. I really wanted to make my team and I really wanted to make a statement, and uh, I hope we did. Well, who's your four-legged friend? Tell, tell, tell oh, Aris. Aris is my uh, my uh, my pit bull. Oh. So uh, yeah, you know. My heart is broken, and, and uh, I'm just really looking forward to go home and bring him to his final, uh, final rest place. Um, the right hand was landing for you the entire first round. That second round, you were really able to kind of load it up before you threw it. How quickly did you know that that was going to be the thing I was going to finish her? Well, uh, um, there's a reason why they call me the Iron Lady. <laughs> I wanted to make a statement today and uh, to show everybody that I have the power. I have the power to knock people out. And uh, the thing was, I threw the head kick, and I saw her moving her arm. I think I broke her, her I broke her arm with that kick. And from there on, uh, you know, I, I saw, I saw I was hitting her hard. And I, I knew she showed me that she was tough, and she was tough. But I'm, I was, I was on the hunt. I wanted to finish this fight. So from there on, I just pushed the pace, and I'm like, there's gonna be a time when the right hand is gonna end on the jar, and I'm gonna finish the fight. Did she surprise you that she was able to make it through that first round? No, 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 not at all. Why not? Because I think she's a tough girl. I respect her a lot. You know, I respect every opponent that's in front of me, and uh, she did a good job. And you know, sometimes you gotta be patient. You have three rounds. If it lands, it lands. And I was patient, and it landed. Was this the performance that like, the forms you've been waiting for? I mean, like that show the fans because you know, we know about your background, but we haven't seen it necessarily out there. Yeah, I, of course, yes, people. Every, um, most people that know me from my kickbox, my old kickboxing days, know that I, I like to finish fights. I like to brawl. I like to finish fights, and I wanted to make a statement. I am here to finish fights. I'm not here to lay in prairie. If you want to fight, you come to fight. I'm the I'm the girl that's gonna bring a fight. And laying and praying is not my thing. And yes, I just hope the fans liked it and they hoped and they enjoyed it. Do you believe that your experience was the difference against the body of fighting your own fighter? I think the, my experience does help me, but it helps me deal be better with my jiggles. I've been off for a year and a half, no no fighting, you know, just training and injuries. So I think it helped me manage my jiggles a little bit more than when I have not so many fights and then I have to get back, back in there. Yeah, what, what was the, the year and a half layoff? What, was, um, what happened? I had an injury oh. and I had to recover from the injury and then uh, a few times they had to postpone my fight or the date of the fight. And Sean Shelby called me and says, now you're going to fight. <laughs> so, What have you improved on that year and a half, you think? My ground. But mostly, I think, mentally, I improved much, much more. Um, I think it's most, for me, it was important, you know. I've got a lot of fights. A lot of people forget. I have a, this, today was my 54th pro fight. So that's a, that's a lot. So sometimes it's very hard to keep that focus and motivate yourself to get back in there and do it again. And... Um, Mentally, I've learned so much to put my personal feelings and my feelings towards fighting on a different perspective and look at a fight differently. What makes it that I have so much more fun doing this? Was I mean after your last your, your last fight was a loss? Um, were you how discouraged were you about the sport, or were you? I was not discouraged about the sport. I was discouraged about myself. I disappointed myself. I, I went in that fight uh, the wrong way. A man that beat me fair and square. You know, we're not going to dispute that. I'm not gonna take anything away from it, but uh, I'm a different fighter now, and I'm stronger than ever. Do you rather see yourself in the ranking now? To be honest, I really don't look at the rankings. I just love fighting. This is what I love to do most, and you know, I don't care. And in the end of the day, you're gonna fight all the girls. You know, if, as long as you keep winning or doing your best, just put up a great performance. Not always about the win, it's putting up a great performance. You're gonna fight all the girls, and one day maybe, you know, you get a title shot. I, I think personally as a fighter, don't focus too much on the rankings. Just focusing on putting up a great performance and making statements. Particularly with this training camp, like you said, you wanted to come out and make a, a difference. And, and skipping the last fight where there was a loss, it was two decisions before that. Did something change in this particular camp or was there some any real focus that you said, I'm going to get a finish this one? Did you train differently this time? Like I said, mentally, I made it different. You know, I'm, I'm, I made it, I had fun again doing what I love to do. And in the past, I didn't have a lot of fun. I was too 
afraid to get taken down. I've been working with my, my, my ground coach so much on the ground that I'm so, seriously, I'm not scared to go to the ground anymore. I'm, I'm, if we go to the ground, I, I might submit you. I might ground pound you if you want to. And with that strike, do you think you sent a uh, message to the rest of uh, the division that uh, you know there's some strong hands out there? I hope so. And if you want to take me down, there's a price to pay. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.